Hi, Brent Tech here. Wet Tech is made simple. Windows 11 update KB5010414 is now available and started rolling out on the 15th of February 2022, which was yesterday in my region of the world. Now, after applying this update, you will now notice that your OS build will be bumped up to 22,000.527. And when this was still in the beta and release preview channels, that would have been 526, which now has been moved up to 527 in this latest stable release and rollout. Now, this is a major update to the Windows 11 operating system. And I have been uh, mentioning this and reporting on this in a couple of videos over the last while on this channel. And Microsoft say that with this latest update, KB5010414, that they are starting to make new experiences available for the Windows 11 operating system, which includes the new Amazon App Store preview, taskbar improvements, and new versions of Media Player and the Notepad app. Now, a lot of these new features in this major update I have featured in previous videos when they were still in testing. So I'm going to go through these quite quickly as I don't want to make this video too long and you can go check those out and do a search for those on this channel if you are interested. Now, the first is the Amazon App Store, which is only available in the United States. Now, I can't demonstrate because obviously I don't reside in the United States, but this is available through the Microsoft Store and um, that's in the preview uh, version of the Amazon App Store preview featuring select Android apps now and games. So Android apps are now available through the Amazon App Store preview uh, in the Microsoft Store on Windows 11, where Microsoft say they are adding over 1,000 more apps and games. And this is in partnership with the Amazon App Store. So that if you are in the United States currently, that um, is a nice addition to uh, the Windows 11 operating system and hopefully that will make its uh, way to other areas and regions of the world in the near future. And then also the Groove Music um, app um, has been upgraded if uh, you are running Groove Music. Now I've uninstalled the Groove Music app but if you are running Groove Music that has been now replaced with the new media player and that now has become the new media player, default media player in Windows 11, which I also have um, mentioned in a previous video. And then the legacy Notepad app has now been upgraded finally. And the legacy Notepad app has been around in Windows basically since the inception of the operating system. And now you can see it takes on the default system theme, which is dark in my case. And we have the settings menu in the top right. We have a fonts um, uh, setting, uh, we have fonts menu in the settings with your different fonts, your style and your size, and also your th app theme, which is takes on light, dark or use system setting, which I am in my case. So um, the old legacy notepad app now has been upgraded um, in this latest update. Now, there are a couple of new um, uh, features to mention and this is an optional update and like most optional updates doesn't carry any security updates but includes um, quality improvements which address a whole lot of bugs and issues and in this case Microsoft has made an exception and rolled out a whole lot of new um, features and updates to improve um, the Windows 11 operating system as I have mentioned previously. Now just to go through some of these other new add-ons and features you now have the ability to share cookies between Microsoft Edge Internet Explorer mode and Microsoft Edge. And now you can also open Microsoft Office files that are in the Start Menus recommended section in the browser. And this occurs if the device does not have an, uh, an appropriate Microsoft Office license and the file is stored in Microsoft OneDrive or Microsoft SharePoint. And if you do have a license, the file will open in the desktop app instead and if if you are running a dual monitor setup as an example the clock and the date now will appear and be added to the taskbar um if uh, um, to any other monitors um, that are connected now to your device and this was a feature that was quite requested and now finally microsoft has made the clock available on other monitors um, in windows 11 as well and then also another big one here as you can see to the left of my taskbar we now have the weather content to the left side of the taskbar and that's if your 
taskbar is aligned to the center and when you hover over the weather your widgets panel will appear where you can have access to your feed now this is very similar now uh, to the look on the taskbar to the news and interest feed in windows 10. now this might be considered bloat for some users but i actually like it personally because i like to see my weather in my taskbar and then two new microsoft teams uh, features which i have mentioned as well in previous videos is you now have the ability to quickly share open application windows directly from your taskbar uh, uh, to a microsoft teams call and then you can also now mute and unmute microsoft teams uh, calls from your taskbar where in during a call an active microphone icon will appear on the taskbar so uh, that's in the system tray in the bottom right so that you can mute the audio without having to return to the microsoft teams call window now i don't use teams i can't demonstrate but if you do use teams that will be a nice handy addition to be able to mute and unmute those calls straight from your taskbar now if you'd like to see if you have the update just head to your settings windows update and as mentioned this is an optional update so you do not have to install the update um, but in this case i'm sure that a lot of users including myself will be installing this optional update as it does carry all these new uh, features and add-ons to the windows 11 operating system and a whole lot of bugs have also been addressed and issues now once you have installed the update you would have to restart your device and the update will then appear um, uh, in your quality updates in your update history and here it is cumulative update for windows 11 kb5010 414 and you can just click on learn more to get to those release notes to check out a little bit more in depth what's going on as i'm only mentioning some of the key highlights and there is a lot going on in this update if you'd like to go check that out a little bit more in depth now just to mention some bugs and issues that have been resolved now these have all been resolved and i'm just going to go through this very quickly is that there was an issue that affects dialog boxes in microsoft edge internet explorer mode uh, that has been addressed and um, there was also an issue that caused microsoft in edge internet explorer mode to stop working when you pressed the f1 key and also there was an issue that displays the right to left rtl language text as left justified on file explorer command menus and file explorer context menus that has been addressed and then um, regarding time zone um, there was an issue that uh, might have caused the time zone list in settings to appear blank for users who were not admins and administrators and then also if we head to the system tray there was an issue that caused incorrect tooltips to appear in an empty area on the taskbar after you hover over icons like your battery and your uh, volume and your wi-fi and that's just to mention some of the key highlights uh, in this latest update and you can just go click on learn more as i said to find out um, more in depth about all those other relevant issues and bug fixes and then this as mentioned this um, update kb5010414 was recently um, been tested in the insider program and that was in the beta and release preview channels and actually yesterday i posted a video just before uh, this actual uh, update rolled out to the stable version where in the insider program this update was causing printing and overheating issues for some insiders so we certainly hope that that uh, microsoft resolved that before rolling the update out to the stable version so that's it kb5010414 is now rolling out and as i say this is a major update to the windows 11 operating system so i hope you found this video useful once again thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.